On Tuesday, July 12, 2022, astronomy will change profoundly and forever. On that date, NASA, European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency plan to release first flight images from the James Webb Space Telescope. Despite the fact that the space observatory was hit by a micrometeoroid last week, Webb, now a million miles from Earth, will become an instant icon throughout the world when its first full-color photographs arrive. Webb is up there looking for cosmic dawn, the earliest stars, as well as studying black holes and exoplanet atmospheres. However, the first round of photographs will almost certainly be jaw-dropping images for all of us to appreciate. Astronomers have a history of celebrating the start of research operations on a new telescope with a collection of photos showcasing what it can achieve. While its alignment photographs were objects in the Milky Way's Large Magellanic Cloud (LMC), we won't know what Webb will be pointing at for these images. However, we do know that they will demonstrate near-cam, or near-infrared camera, which will detect light from the first stars and galaxies. It contains a coronagraph, which allows it to obscure the light of a star, which aids in the hunt for planets circling neighboring stars. Webb's iris, or near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph, will be used for first light detection of the first stars and for detecting exoplanets as they cross their star. The near spec, or near-infrared spectrograph instrument, a spectrometer to disperse light from an object into a spectrum. This instrument can observe 100 objects simultaneously. And the MIRI, or mid-infrared instrument, a camera and a spectrograph that sees light in the mid-air infrared region of the electromagnetic spectrum, primarily for better than Hubble wide-field astrophotography images. However, it is the MIRI camera that will most likely provide us with the photos that are superior to Hubble's wide-field astrophotography. NASA is keeping the particular targets under wraps, but expect to see a few Hubble vs. Webb's photographs demonstrate what the new infrared space observatory is capable of when compared to the aging ultraviolet slash visible space telescope. Just as interesting will be the Spitzer vs. Webb images that compare the original infrared space telescope to its successor, though it's also likely that we'll see Webb's images in combination with those two telescopes and those from the Chandra X-ray observatory. What we do know is that the collection of first light photos will encompass the whole scope of science, the early cosmos, the evolution of galaxies across time, and the lifetime of stars and other planets, perhaps even a direct picture of an exoplanet. If you want to learn more about the James Webb Space Telescope and stay up to date, subscribe to the channel to receive our daily updates. Thanks for watching.